This is Randy Rice of Rice Consulting Services and RiceConsulting.com and this is another short video in my series of basic testing principles and concepts and many of these principles will transcend just about any kind of testing that you want to do. Uh, a lot of the slides that I'm showing are from my ISTQB foundation level class but I'll also be showing some in this series that are, are just principles that I believe in and that I've observed over uh, my almost 30 years in software testing and then another 13 in software development. So the, the general principle I want to talk about today is that testing shows the presence of defects. It, I think this is an important thing for testers to understand because when we're evaluating something and at the end of the process we have to give some kind of reasoned assessment really all we can speak to is what we tested and what we found. It would be really great if we could extrapolate and predict what could be out there that we don't know about. We could raise those as risk, uh, I think, pretty safely. But we really can't say that everything works great on the result of the test that we've run. We, we can say that from the test we've run, everything that we've tested looks great. But the, the idea that uh, we, we can safely say there are no more defects would assume that you would have to be able to test every conceivable condition for one thing, and, that, and then also every conceivable attribute would be another thing. And then that doesn't even take into account the various usability perspectives and user perspectives. So even though uh, testing can find defects, and if they're fixed, then this can reduce the risk of those appearing in production is still not a proof of total correctness of the software. Now this is an important thing for testers to communicate to their management because management I think can rightfully ask well hey what are we paying you people for anyway and this is where testers often get blamed and get stressed out and everything and so the message to management needs to be that uh, we, we can test everything and we can't speak to everything. All we can do is tell you here's what we're able to test and here's what we've seen as a result of that test. Here's what we think some of the remaining risk might be. And so it really reinforces the idea that a key role of testing is not just to find defects but it's also to provide good information so that management can make informed decisions. Well, I hope that helps a little bit in understanding a little bit about what testing can and can't do. If you want to learn more about this kind of thing, show up at my website at riceconsulting.com. Thanks for watching.